A lot has been said about Donald Trump and I don't want to start talking about politics because this series is after all called One Minute Architecture. So what I thought is let's have a look at the architecture of Donald Trump. Let us start with a basic question. What is architecture? I think architecture is a space created for human activities, which might be a pretty broad description. Maybe this statement by Philip Johnson, the godfather of modern American architecture and one of Trump's architects, could be considered as a definition of architecture. Now, Plato once says, no one is sufficient for himself, but each is in need of many things. It are these many things that brings us to the architecture of Donald Trump. Although the buildings range widely in style, I think there are four key elements that define the architecture of Donald Trump. First, there is the naming. There are dozens of buildings with the Trump name stuck onto them. Consider the names of the following buildings in New York. The Trump International Hotel and Tower, Trump Building at 40 Wall Street, Trump Tower, Trump World Tower, Trump Soho, Trump Plaza, Trump Park and Trump Park East, Trump Palace, and Trump Place. A true confusion of tongues. The Austrian architect Hans Hollein once said, everything is architecture. Trump, on the other hand, states that architecture can be anything. Thus, we can get bottles of Trump perfume or Trump vodka shaped like buildings, which in turn can be sold. How would you describe his taste if you had to put an adjective on it? Uh, gold. Likes gold. Yes, one does get the impression that Trump likes gold. Most of the entrances of his buildings are gold colored, and so are many of the building signs. The epitome of this goldness must surely be the gold tinted Trump Hotel in Las Vegas. Most of the gold used in Trump's projects is brass or colored film. Finally, and I think this is the key definition for Donald Trump's architecture, all of his buildings are tall or have been, at some point in time, the tallest in the world. On September 11, Trump called in to Fox News and had this to say. 40 Wall Street actually was the second tallest building in downtown Manhattan. And, and it was actually, before the World Trade Center, was the tallest. And then when they built the World Trade Center, it became known as the second tallest, and now it's the tallest. This building was designed by Craig Severance and Yasuo Matsui and was completed in 1930. And yes, for about two months from April 1930 to May 1930, it was the tallest building in the world. The Trump Hotel Las Vegas is the tallest residential tower in Las Vegas. The Trump International Hotel and Tower in Chicago was supposed to become the world's tallest building. It was scaled down after the 9-11 attacks. It now features an almost 43 meter wide sign, which makes it most likely Chicago's biggest building sign. As a conclusion, most of the Trump buildings are rather ugly, regardless of those four defining elements. An exception is maybe, and I'm judging from photographs, the Trump World Tower by Costas Condilis. This simple, dark, minimal rectangular tower reminds me of the monolith in Stanley Kubrick's 2001.